Hello, welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, welcome. In this video, I'll be doing the review on the Instant Precision Dutch Oven. Okay, I said I will come back with a recipe, you know, to do a review on the Dutch Oven. So here we go. Right here I have two London Brawl Roasts. Okay, in this review, I didn't want to go with an expensive cut of meat. You know, it's just a review, and it's on a, a weekday, so, yeah. I did use the Dutch oven for the roast that I prepared on Easter. I should have recorded that, but, y'all, you know, family, so I ain't want to do all that, okay? So, here we go again. going to show you how I'm going to prepare it to go into the Dutch oven. Seasonings. Some lorries. Seasoning salt. You can use any kind of seasoning salt you choose to. Some complete seasoning. Y'all know I can't say that name, so I ain't even going to try. And then we have some garlic and onion, black pepper, and sea salt seasoning. Okay? We have an onion, and I'm going to use a little vegetable oil. Alrighty, let's get started. Okay? Going to add some seasoning salt. It may look like a lot, but it's not. Okay, then we're gonna just pat that in, massage it in, however you wanna do it. Okay. Then I'm gonna add some of it to complete. Now we're gonna flip them over. And do the same thing on the other side. Now you can add both of them up there and then begin to press it in, rub it in. But that's not how I do it, so I'm just showing y'all how I do it. That's all I can do, right? Okay, I'll be back with the next step. Okay, now I'm going to chop my onion. And I'm not gonna do small pieces. I'm gonna do it like wedges, okay? Like that. Like that. Okay. I already have the plug in, so I'm gonna hit sear. The sear button right there. We're gonna hit start. And it's preheating. It's going to let you know when to add the food. And I'll be back at that point. Okay? Okay. Now it's ready to add the food. Okay, I'm going to add a little oil. And it's hot. So you can wait till it heat to add your oil. And I'm going to add my onions. Okay? I'm going to let these go for a little bit. I don't want to cook them too much. You can let them brown a little bit more if you choose to. They're good enough for me. Now I'm going to add my meat. And I'm going to sear this on both sides. And this is going to lock in the flavor. And you only want to do this for like a couple of minutes on each side. Maybe two or three minutes on each side. You can check it to see if it's not brown enough for me. See that? And I'm going to do the other one the same way. Okay, this is what you're looking for. 
You just want to get some color on both sides. This is not for to cook it all the way through. This is for just to lock in your flavor. Okay. Now we're going to remove this from the pan, pot, whatever you want to call it. All right. And you see all that goodness at the bottom? We're going to add us some water. This is about two cups of water. You can add it slow. Loosen all that up, okay? Now you can cancel the saute feature. I'm going to add my onions back in. And I'm going to add this seasoning in the water. Just a little extra. You don't need a whole lot because remember you seasoned your meat. And the drippings at the bottom of the pan seasoned the water. When you added the water and scraped it. Scraped the bottom. Okay. And I'm going to add my roast back. Like this. It don't matter if you lay them on top of each other. It's still going to get done. Okay. Like that. Alrighty. So that's four cups of water I added. I added four cups of water because I knew I was going to make gravy with the liquid that was left. It still says ready. You may not be able to see it. Because of the lighting. Okay, you're gonna push that in like that. I don't even think y'all seen that. I'm sorry. I'm gonna hit slow cook. Not gonna cook this for 12 hours. So I set it for four hours. Maybe five. So we have for dinner. I'm gonna do four. <laughs> okay. That's gonna be good to go, y'all, within four hours. Gonna hit start. Place the lid. And let it do what it do. Now if you don't want it to fall apart, then I guess you wouldn't cook it as long. But uh I like mine a little tender. Okay. Now I'm gonna take this out of here. I'm gonna place it on some foil. Now, of course, you guys, y'all know y'all can cook this in y'all oven. All righty. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to set it aside. At this point, I added some cornstarch to some cold water to thicken this liquid for my gravy. Okay, it's time to plate it up. Paired it with some baby potatoes and some steamed fresh green beans. Okay. There we go. And this falls apart. You see that? <laughs> That's how I like it. And if you don't like yours like that, then I'm sorry. It's good to me. Alrighty. And there you have it. I do enjoy this. Um, appliance so what I recommend getting it if you're looking for another crock pot Dutch oven yes I would recommend it okay there you have it I appreciate your time and to the next video have a blessed one